Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and I just thought I'd give you an update from the greenhouse. So in these crates here, those are the last three crates of the white amaryllis bulbs that Gerard has bought to replace the ones that were killed by the virus, that had to be thrown out because of the virus. And in these crates, and over here, you'll see all the ends that have been topped off. So the bulb has to have the, the these roots cut off. Basal plate. Yeah, so this is called the basal plate, and it gets cut off, and then um, the reason is that there's like something called nematodes that can go into the roots to kill them from, and and then there's another bulb That's over here. Well, there's an, well, you know, Gerard's going to grab it. This bulb, if you look at the red in here, there's a red ring and there's a little red, that's something called fusarium, which is a type of fungus. So those are all things that you have to look out for when you are transplanting bulbs. So all the bulbs are over there in black and green yeah. racks. They are going to get cut. Tomorrow. They're not going to get cut. They're going to get picked up by the trucker tomorrow. And then they get a hot water bath. They get first steamed. they get dried. for. Uh, oh, first yeah. they get dried. Huh? Yep. I think I know it all, and then I forget the order. Yeah. And the guys here are still busy cutting off the uh, the roots, and then they trim off the top. We'll open up from the uh, crates. You can you can also get some of the green. Here? Well, I don't even know what's in these green crates. The same. Well, these ones are all empty to the left, and then these are ones that are going to. These are also going to get dried and yeah, picked up and cleaned and. Yeah, so, you know, the, the Gerard does everything in his power to make sure that the bulbs that are going into the ground again are healthy, because everything depends on that. And I'm, then these bulbs will be in for three years, right? Before yeah, they yeah, yeah. I bought these from a grower who's uh, quitting, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's, Gerard is able to buy these bulbs because another one of his colleagues is um, quitting. He's either retiring early or he can't handle the stress of the... Horrible market prices and always fighting disease and uh, fungi and stuff. It takes uh, nerves of steel to do this business. Um, flowers are super romantic, but growing them, not always. But anyway, I thought it would be nice for you to see what's going on behind the scenes in the greenhouse. Have a super day!